What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic, and it might be a few weeks late, but it's finally time to give you my thoughts on the best home theater projectors of 2020. Now, as some of you know, I've been waiting to receive both the Epson LS500 and the Samsung Premiere. So to be fair, I'll be doing a separate video specifically for ultra short throw projectors. So just like the previous best projector videos, I'll break this list down into different categories, sorted by price, starting with the most expensive, then I'll talk about gaming projectors. Now, most categories will have a winner and a runner up, and I've added a few new categories based on some of the responses from previous videos. All Right, let's go ahead and jump right into it. The very first category is for you rich folks out there and that's gonna be the best projector under $10,000. Now, a bunch of you have asked me why I don't talk much about JVC projectors. Well, the winner for best projector under 10,000 is the JVC NX7. So I had the opportunity to see this projector last year and this thing has outstanding picture quality. The NX7 uses a new native 4K chip that produces an incredibly sharp image with outstanding color contrast, brightness, black levels, and no pixel shifting. If you have huge piles of money lying around, then the JVC NX7 is a great option. And the runner up for best projector under 10,000 is the Sony VW715ES. The 715ES also has outstanding sharpness and color accuracy, but does fall short to the JVC in contrast. In previous years, JVC projectors did use pixel shifting to produce a 4K image, which meant that Sony projectors were sharper. Well, that's changed now that JVC has their new 4K chip. And even though the Sony has excellent picture quality, I do prefer the JVC. So the Sony is the runner up in this category. Either way, you can't go wrong since both of these are amazing projectors. The next category is best projector under 5,000. And once again, this year's winner is the Sony VW295ES. So priced right at $5,000, the 295ES continues to be a great option with this 4K chip, great color accuracy and HDR performance. Now, with that being said, the runner up is the JVC NX5. Now, to be fair, even though I actually prefer the NX5 over the Sony, it's priced at $6,000. So considering the price, it's only fair to make it the runner up in this category. The contrast and overall image quality from the NX5 is fantastic. It also uses the new native 4K chip like the NX7, but has slightly less contrast and brightness, but it still looks absolutely stunning. If you're looking to spend around $6,000, the NX5 should definitely be on your list. Next up is the best projector under $3,000, and this should come as no surprise if you watched my review of it, but the winner is the BenQ HT 5550. So the 5550 is a pixel shifting 4K projector with great color accuracy, covering 100% of DCI P3, and provides a fantastic image with both SDR and HDR content. It supports 3D, it has frame interpolation, and it has a much better lens compared to the less expensive BenQ projectors, which provides a sharper image with better installation features. And the very close runner up for the best projector under 3000 is the Epson 5050UB. So the 5050UB was actually the winner last year, but considering the BenQ actually produces a 4K image compared to 2K from the Epson, the Epson falls slightly behind since it's not actually 4K. Now to be fair, the Epson is much brighter with better black levels and better input lag. So if you need a bright projector for a multi-purpose room or for gaming, then the Epson would be better suited. The Epson also doesn't produce the rainbow effect, so if you're sensitive to this, then this will be another reason to consider the Epson. The next category is best projector under $2,000, and I'll break this down into two subcategories, which are best dark room home theater projector and best bright home theater projector. So starting off with the best dark room projector under $2,000, and this year's winner once again is the BenQ HT 3550. So the 3550 is still the best 4K home theater projector for most people. It's a pixel shifting 4K projector that has fantastic color accuracy, covering 95% of DCI-P3 and 100% of Rec. 709. It also produces a great HDR image, it supports 3D, and it has decent black levels for the money. BenQ even released a smart version that adds an Android TV stick called the BenQ HT3550i if you're looking for an integrated smart TV interface. 
And right on the heels of the HD3550 is the LG HU70 LA, which is the runner up in this category. So priced around $1,600, the HU70 LA is a pixel shifting 4K smart home theater projector that has an LED light source, great image quality, and the best smart TV interface I've seen on the standard projector, which is LG's WebOS. The LED light source provides up to 30,000 hours of lamp life, making it a great option if you don't wanna replace a bulb multiple times. The LG arguably has more features than the BenQ, but the BenQ is brighter, has 3D support, and has better black levels. The LG, on the other hand, has a far superior interface, native app support, the Google Assistant built in, and slightly better input lag, making it a better option for casual gamers. And the best bright home theater projector priced under $2,000 goes to the Epson 3800. Now there are several bright projectors in this price range, but the Epson provides 3000 lumens of both white and color brightness, giving you a bright image regardless of what content you're watching. And using three LCD technology versus DLP, the 3800 doesn't suffer from the rainbow effect, so watching fast paced content like sports won't be an issue for people who are sensitive to it. And if you're looking for a bright 4K image, Image, then you should check out the runner up, which is the BenQ TK850. The TK850 is a brighter version of the HT3550, but sacrifices some color accuracy for a bit more brightness and is a great projector for the money. Now this isn't the first bright projector we've seen from BenQ, but it's certainly one of the best considering it has a nice balance between brightness and color accuracy. All right, now for the best projector under a thousand, which is the new Epson Home Cinema 2250 priced at $999. The 2250 is the predecessor to the 2150, which was a bright and color accurate three LCD projector. Not only is it slightly brighter producing 2700 lumens with fantastic color accuracy, but it also adds an Android TV interface, making it a much more user friendly option for streaming your favorite movies and TV shows. It also accepts a 4K HDR signal, making it far more compatible than most projectors at this price point. The runner up for best under a thousand is the very popular BenQ HT2050A. So the 2050A is a $700 1080p projector that has long been one of my favorites for budget conscious shoppers. Even though it's starting to show its age, it's still hard to beat the image quality you get for the money. The one downside to this projector is that it's a few years old, so it won't accept a 4K signal and it's not nearly as bright as the Epson. The lack of 4K support might limit certain content you can play on it, but for $700, you're not gonna find many options better than this. And the last category for home theater projectors is the best projector under $300, and I usually call these toy projectors. These are great for novelty use, like projecting onto a white wall for a fun movie night with the family, but I don't usually recommend using them for any serious TV or movie watching. All right, now that we got that out of the way, the winner for best projector under $300 goes to the Goody YG620, which is priced at $269. So this is a 1080p LED projector that could produce a screen up to 300 inches, even though I wouldn't recommend going that big. Goody doesn't specify the brightness, which I suppose is a good thing since it can often be misleading, but these LED projectors usually produce anywhere from 100 to 500 ANSI lumens, even though you might see some crazy claims like 6,000 lumens, which is usually not true. Overall, for around 270 bucks, the YG620 is kinda hard to beat if you're looking for a fun way to watch a movie on a big screen with the family. The runner up for the best under 300 is the eight man LC650. So priced at 199 bucks, the LC650 is a 1080p LED projector that supports 4K signals and is very similar to the YG620, although not as bright. Eight Man claims that this produces around 6,000 lumens like most projectors in this price range, but in reality, it's usually closer to 150 to 200 ANSI lumens, so it's best to keep the screen size fairly small, especially if you're not using it in total darkness. Overall, for $200, I think this projector is a good value for the money. All right, guys, this brings us to our final category, which is the best gaming projectors. So I'm gonna give my recommendations for the best gaming projectors under 3,000, 2,000, and $1,000. Now, before I jump into this, I know a lot of you are looking for the best gaming projector for your PS5 and Xbox Series X, and it's important to note that I have not seen any projectors yet that support 4K at 120 frames per second. Now, some of the gaming projectors in this list do support 120 hertz, but that's only with 1080 P signals. The main deciding factors here are input lag, brightness, and HDR support since those are often the most important features for gamers. 
So the winner for best gaming projector under $3,000 goes to the Epson 5050UB. Not only is this projector super bright, but it supports 4K HDR, it has amazing black levels and an input lag around 30 milliseconds. I game on the 5050UB pretty much on a nightly basis, and even though I've tested tons of projectors, I always find myself preferring the Epson. Next up for best gaming projector under 2000 is another Epson and that's the Epson 3800. So like the 5050UB, the 3800 is a very bright and very color accurate 3 LCD projector with good input lag. And just like the 5050UB, the 3800 produces a 2K image, so it's not true 4K, but the image quality more than makes up for it. For around $1,300 less, the 3800 does fall short to the 5050UB in black levels, contrast, and installation features, but it is slightly brighter and has even less input lag. Now I have to admit that my first choice for this category was actually the Optima UHD 50X, which is a fantastic 4K gaming projector with great input lag, good brightness, and decent color accuracy. The only reason the Optima got bumped for the Epson is because it appears that some of the Optima's latest 4K projectors like the UHD 50, UHD 30, and UHD 50X are suffering from a sporadic issue where half of the screen will be brighter than the other. Now some people see this a lot and others only see it every once in a while. I actually did witness this when I tested the UHD 50X myself, but I thought it was an anomaly since it only did it once and it fixed itself after a reboot. But unfortunately, it looks like a lot of people are having this issue. It's been rumored that Optima might have a firmware update that might address the problem, but I don't believe it's been confirmed yet. As much as I really love that UHD 50X and want to recommend it, I can't do that without warning you guys about this potential issue. And the winner for our very last category, which is the best gaming projector under $1,000, goes to the BenQ TH685, which is currently priced at $723. The TH675 is a 1080p DLP projector that supports 4K HDR signals and has an input lag as low as 8.3 milliseconds, making it great for gamers. It's also really bright, producing up to 3,500 lumens and even supports 120 hertz 1080p signals. Considering BenQ's quality performance and a three-year warranty, if you're looking to game on a big screen and you don't want to break the bank, then the BenQ TH685 might be the best option. All right, guys, that's going to pretty much do it for this video, and I will have Amazon links to all of the different projectors that I talked about today, and those are affiliate links that go to support this channel. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, I will be doing a separate video for ultra short throw projectors since I'm still waiting to test out the new Samsung and Epson. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and that you have the notifications set to all so you'll get notified as soon as I post new videos. Also, be sure to leave your questions and comments in the comments section and I'll respond to your questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.